So welcome back guys. This is a another part to my uh gone home walkthrough. And where we last left off, I was stuck. But I feel like there's something in one of these rooms that will lead me to where I need to go. Um I know I did explore through here like crazy. This place looks like it was raided. But that's just how I explore. That's what I do, you know what I mean? So Let's see. I forget what else is around here and stuff. Um, let's see. I don't know why I'm really touching those, to be quite honest with you, but... Um, let's see. Wait. What is that? Is it in here? Wait. One... What? What? Oh, I don't know why that just gave me goosebumps right now. That, uh, wow. That's, that's, well, you know what? I was playing this game at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning last night. Or, you know, whenever you guys are watching this, of course, I'm kind of resuming, like, my, I, I like to record, like, pre-record my stuff or whatever. So right now it's... 5.11 in the evening, or afternoon, Friday, June 10th, or whatever, and I was literally playing this last night, like, super late, so I was kind of delirious at that point, I, I really didn't know what to do, like, if you watch my, uh, previous part, you'll understand what I'm talking about. What is all this stuff? Ghost Hunter, Sam and Lonnie, Secret House Investigation Log. Hidden compartments found. Three. Library. Upstairs hall. Foyer. Ah, oh, there's something up. Oh! Evidence of the supernaturals. Discovered zero. The search continues. Okay, so this is where. Ah, oh, so there's something in the library. Okay. <clears throat> and then. Oh my god. Hidden compartments marked on map. Press. Holy god. Wow, this game is incredible. Oh, it's like super dark over here. I can't see anything right now because there's a huge glare on my television. From oh, looky here, looky here. And you know what's funny too? I could have sworn I just heard something creak right now. That was really sketchy. Is when I was in here yesterday, well, when in my first part, I remember walking over here and I said, is there like something, is there like a secret door or something like that? And for the most part, I kind of got it, but not really. Like I was onto something, but it was over here. I wonder if I could have opened it from like, in there rather. Alright, so where was this other one again? Journals? No, well. T basement. Dad's office. Okay, hang on. I have to go back and look at that. Keep thinking it's like a book that I can look at. Let me see this. Okay. So, I just went in the closet. Right? Oh my god. The layout is all like effed up. In the foyer. Uh huh. Okay. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out, folks. Don't worry. I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. So I don't think it was anything in here. No, because the wallpaper was different. Well, the basement is locked, no? Yeah, that's locked. Alright, so... I obviously need to find some type of key, which... Where is it? No idea. Will I find it? I certainly hope so. What was that? Um... Something just said, hey, you. Um. 
What? Christ. Wait a minute. Ah. Here? Aha! What is this? Heaven, at the edge of the world. Private, do not read. The Green Glacier, part two. Samantha Greenberg, ninth grade. Nine, I mean, 12, 192. Um, Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed. Such lusciousness. Luscious. Such lushness. Ah! Juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. Ah, so Wonder Woman. Or, well, those are semi-scary. Never mind. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's party follow behind, moving quietly as a breeze to the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw a clean Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted no and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. It's felt too long. Um, the first mate screamed as he fell fo toward the water and then splashed down, and all was eagerly silent. Lager looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. <coughs> she had been a moment too late. Then from the bath, something the name emerged. I kind of don't really care. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay. okay. Right, three times, stop at 50-1. Hearing all types of noises. Half of Sam's locker combo. Okay. I just want to check this door real quick. Locked again. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to see if there's like anything else, any other like hidden panels that I should know about. This glare on my television screen right now is, like, really getting me mad. I can't see diddly squat. Doesn't seem as though there's anything. Okay, so... Five, zero, one. I guessed it! Ah. <laughs> I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. Basement key added to the backpack. Here today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody there? Did they like steal these shirts or something? Bad girl. Alright, well, I called it. They had the hots for each other, and they're so cute. There was nothing wrong. Edit the backpack. I think that's the thing that I just listened to, yeah. 
Okay, well, at least now I can go to the basement. Finally. I just figured, you know what? I have the three numbers. Why don't I just try and guess the last... I mean, yeah. Well, the last or... Technically the first number, I should say. There. Open it that way. Oh, why are you so dark? I don't like that. Don't do this to me. Yeah, so I definitely needed to take a break from this game. I was playing it for, I don't know how long, maybe like an hour or so, but it felt longer because I was just so, like, into it. Christ. What is this? Gimme! Potato chips, and they're already open. That's rather nasty. Rather nasty indeed. Judy's original potato chips. Well, screw you, Judy. Alrighty. Is there anything else in here? No. What's this? Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoy the... Ah, uh, it's a Monopoly man and a chicken leg. Dear Mr. Soto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you for kind of being... Shut up. Uh, okay. I am so glad I... Mmm, that's kind of creepy. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night... Where it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Yuck. Okay. Is there anything over here? <coughs> Anything at all. Okay, so this was kind of pointless, almost. Oh, shoot. I didn't even notice this. It's a boiler room. Freddy Krueger, are you in here? Freddy Krueger! Are you in here? I'm expecting, like, a child to pop out or something and just start, like, singing to me while jumping rope. What's this? Reed College, Office of Admissions and Financial Aid. Uh, Samantha Greenbrier, Samantha, congratulations! I am pleased to inform you of your admission to creative writing track on the Reed College Center. Leave you much to contribute. Oh, okay, cool. She got in. Awesome. I'm so stupid sometimes. Why? I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? That's she said, Sam. to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. That kind of makes me sad. What the f- Stop with the creepy noises now! What's this? One of Dad's books. Something stuck to it. Jizz? Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along your copy of New Poem. Suddenly recognize the thing you can do better. Ow. Jeez. Okay. What's this? What's this? The United States of America. Sheesh. Okay. Thing that's wrong. Citizenship stuff. 
do I want to go in here? Or do I want to... What the heck is all this? Are these newspapers? Quite a hoarder much. Don't you think? For Christ's sake. Grab postcard. Sounds like somebody's walking upstairs. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from... Yeah. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Oh my god. You know what? Before I go in there, let's go in this room first. Oh boy. The sink doesn't work. I didn't... Mm. All these creepy noises. I'm starting to hear. Guest room. That one doesn't work. Ah, okay. Well, give me this. lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. And feels so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. I can sing! Added to backpack. Alright, so before I move on, I really need to take care of this glare for a quick second. So I'm going to mute this real quick. It's going to take a while, but I will edit it, and then I will move as soon as I'm back. So sorry about that, folks. I really just couldn't see anything. So, okay. Oh, I need that. Holy God, this place is freaking huge. What kind of house is this? I feel like I should know what that combination lock is, but perhaps I'll find it out right now. Hmm. 
Let's see. Costumes and uh, okay. Uh, okay. Place is so sketchy. What's this? Hmm. sometimes. Like her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said... They don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Reminds me back in high school, I think it was my um, junior year, I had to do a project on the don't ask, don't tell thing. Alright, that's enough. What is this now? Where the... Uh-huh. Looky here, looky here. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. What? Inside edition. Well, <clears throat> Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know Dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever he brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. He'd send you to Dr. Phil. Okay. Oh, take it to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Three, wait, one? Oh, 25th, well, I guess that's not, I don't know. What does that say? I feel like I missed something in this room. Oh, wait. Is there anything here? No. But that safe, though, I feel like I should know what the combination is for it. Where did it go? Wait, there's more? What is this? Oh my god. What? 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 Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to see if maybe any of those notes will uh, tell me, like, any combination locks or something. Is that a note? 196.3? Hmm. Let's try that. Imagine having a house like this with all these secret compartments and stuff like that. would be one in 
insane house, let me tell you. I kind of forgot what it said. Was it 193.6? Where is that safe, anyways? Is it in here? sorts of strange noises. There's nothing in here. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. What is that? I just want to know what that safe number is, but let's uh, go right back upstairs and continue exploring because, yeah, seems to be a lot of stuff popping off upstairs in that room that I found. Might as well keep exploring it. Do you know what I mean? Um, wait, I kind of forget. Yeah, it was here. Okay. Because then that other door just led to, like, upstairs and stuff, so... What is that? The skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was, like, three bucks. Okay. So I guess that's what that skull thing was in the... Um, whatchamacallit. <coughs> Alright, well, let's just go this way. Since, I mean, it's... where's the light? Okay. Shh, my god, this house is huge. Grab mom's purse. How many purses does she have? Nothing in that box. Mm-hmm. Two tickets... Okay. Nothing else there. Nothing. Okay. Is there like a ghost? an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight one you were never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known since like she -Ra. mom and dad didn't I guess but they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker and they were like is there something we should know about you and Lonnie and so here's the thing I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. Ah, <sighs> man. There's a lot of deep stuff. Especially, you know, this type of stuff in the 90s. I mean, not that it wasn't, like, unheard of, but <clears throat> I guess it just wasn't as acceptable. As... Hmm. Okay. 
there anything else on here? I guess not. Well, seems as though she gave up, so I'm giving up too. That was kind of mean. How big is this house? Stop! Gosh. Alright, well. There has to be a way to get in there. Okay. What? Oh, okay, this just... Oh my goodness. Alright, there we go. It's a kitchen! Yay! Open! Here we go. More terrible music. Kitchen is a mess. What what were they doing here? Sheesh. Pick it up. There we go. Okay. Well, phone line's still dead. What's this? Congratulations on your new position. Yeah, nobody cares. Uh anniversary. Katie comes home this month! Cool. Alright. Well, that room is dark. I don't want to go in there quite yet. A whole bunch of empty pizza boxes. We got some creamy peanut butter. Okay. Open dishwasher. Open fridge. Open fridge. Grab veggies. Grab veggies. Grab box. Close fridge. JFK conspiracies. Sheesh. Let it go. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. 
no contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. This game is a wee bit depressing, not gonna lie. What is that? Ah, oh, it's nothing. So there's literally nothing in this. Okay. Well. Is there anywhere else I can move on to? That, uh. What is this? Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are my family. I always known her. I thought of any other wish. Some days that I had a basic film in college and it seems brighter in the morning. Hmm. Alright. Let's see what uh, lies in here. What lies in wait, I should say. Let me rephrase. What's this? Couples counseling retreat. It's kind of sad. Cover copy. New. The life you saved this time would be your own. Oh! Can't tell you what joy to see in general. Back to print things so much. Soon. Okay, cool. Alright. More? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And I wouldn't be anymore. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. What the? What kind of satanic nonsense is this? Oh my god. The sunset light in this house 
is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oh no. Oh no. Here it is, ladies and gents. The moment of truth has finally come. What is in the attic? Oh god. Oh no. Oh boy. kind of scared. I don't know what I'm going to find in here. Okay, what's this? Always remember what we had. Stay strong. Okay. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. It was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army, and being a part, and all of it. And so, she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive. Until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. I should have seen that coming, so they practically ran away together. So the person on the answering machine in the beginning of this walkthrough, or part, you know, first part I should say, was Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. interesting game very interesting narrative and um, I yeah it was uh, very interesting I don't know that's I don't, I don't really know what else to say other than that it was a great game I enjoyed it very good atmosphere and it, it kind of has this creepy vibe even though there's really not much creepiness about it but you know I, I can't quite explain what I'm trying to say but yeah, overall it's pretty good. I wish it was a little bit longer, but it is what it is. I know it was a indie game of some sorts, but yeah, it was a very interesting story and just, you know, kind of going along and figuring out things as they go, you know, unraveling things one by one, and then once you finally, you know, you kind of start piecing it together towards the end as I kind of somewhat did, and there was something that, you know, I should have seen coming, but... You know, you know, it was kind of right underneath your nose that they ran away together, so to speak. But it was still kind of cool to just, you know, experience it yourself. But, 
hey, I enjoy the game. If you guys haven't played this game, I highly suggest you do. I mean, even though you've already watched me do it, but it is what it is. But, very great. I, I don't know what else to say about it, to be honest. So, overall, I enjoyed this game. If you guys enjoyed my walkthrough, please leave a like. Let's shoot anywhere between, I don't know, 5 to 10 likes, something like that. Check the description box down below for the link to our film channel where we do movie reviews and short films, original films, and fan films. And the links to my good friends Hey Zeus over at Zeus is Loose will be in the description box down below, as well as my good friend Alan over at Lame Boy Games. Link to his channel will be in the description box down below, too, so make sure you check them out. Show them some love. Tell my friends to subscribe to their channel. And if you guys want, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All those juicy details will be in the description box down below. Everything will be in the description box down below. That's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.